Hey, and uh, welcome to this Swift tutorial. We're going to be going over, um, we're going to be working with strings today um, using Swift uh, and then Cormier. So, in Swift, as in most other programming languages, strings are just an ordered collection of characters, um, which is pretty simple. For instance, if you look at the code we have here, um, we're declaring a variable called string, and this itself is the what the string contains, which is Hello Playground. Uh, for the sake of this tutorial, you're probably going to want to open up a playground in Xcode um, so that you can work with strings in an easy fashion um, to go along with this video. Um, strings are built in as a built-in data type to Swift, so they're not their own class or anything like that uh, that you might see in Java or another language. Um, they're a built-in data type. So um, You'll notice in the first line here of the actual code uh, below the import statement that you've got var string equals hello playground. Uh, one thing you might notice is that you don't explicitly declare the type of str. Um, that's because what you're going to put after str is hello playground in double quotes. Um, and this is called a string literal, um, spelled string literal. And a string literal basically says, all right, if I've got a collection of characters within a set of double quotes, I can automatically assume that that is going to be treated as a string. So you don't explicitly have to declare this as a string because you're assigning it to a string. Um, a, you're assigning a string literal to it. Um, you can declare constant strings the same way you would declare um, any other constant uh in Swift, so um, let's do conststr, and we can declare this as hello playground constant. And if you see uh, right here, you can see the values. Um, you'll notice that with the constant, you can then um, you can uh, change it. Um, do the fact that you declared it as a constant. Um, you can declare a empty string if you'd like to um, using one of two ways. You can either pass in an empty string literal which would be a pair of double quotes with nothing in it or you can use the normal um, constructor of string. And these are two equally valid ways of declaring an empty string, um, both resulting in a string uh, that has nothing in it. Um, so a, a string is called a value type, um, which means that if you create a new string value, um, that value is copied when it's passed to a function or a method, um, or when it's assigned to something. So um, that's worth noticing. It's different um, than how it would behave in uh, Objective-C. Um, so we're going to work with strings a little bit here. Um, like in Java, you can concatenate strings in iOS. So let's say I create a string variable that says hello space, and I'll create another one that says world. Now what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to create, and I'll put in a comma, I'm going to want to create one string that contains hello world. Uh, in, actually this is pretty easy in Swift. Um, so what I'm, all you're going to do is you're going to create a var that's called final string or whatever you'd like to call it. And you're just going to pass in str plus str2. And as you can see, Swift immediately, because you're passing in two uh, string literals, it automatically assumes that you're going to be using it as a string. So you don't need to explicitly declare the type here. And what you have is a new string called final str that has hello world. All right. Um, so that's how you concatenate strings. Um, you can concatenate strings as a variable that you also have as constants because, as we mentioned earlier, um, they are value types, so they are copied. 
um, which means this is really creating a copy of the contents of str, this is a copy of the world, and then they use it into uh, creates final strings. So that's how that works. Um, you can append strings uh, using the addition assignment operator as you would with integers or doubles or floats. Uh, so let's say I have hello world here and I want to just add something. Um, so what I'll do is I'll create a new variable or I'll create a constant and I'll create string three and I'll put an exclamation point and all I have to do is use final str plus equals str three and as you can see this simply concatenates str3 onto the end of final str and what you have is the string with all of your three individual strings together. Um, if for some reason you have a character value you can also concatenate that using the append method um, but we're not going to explicitly go into that because you won't be using characters much uh, for the sake of this class. Um, there's something called string interpolation in Swift, and that is basically a way to construct a string value from a mix of various types. Uh, so you, what you can do is create a new string with a string and a double and an integer and use it that way. Uh, so we'll do that. We'll show you how to do that. We're going to erase all the code here. So we can start from scratch. We'll put an integer. Sorry. Just so we have some sort of format. Uh, we're going to declare a variable called test int, and we'll assign that to three. Um, you'll notice that in Swift here, we also don't have to uh, explicitly declare this. Uh, that's because three is a integer literal. Um, in the way that strings have literals too. We'll then create a double. Um, what I'm actually going to do is create this as 2014 for the year, and then I'm going to uh, simply declare this as a double. You'll probably notice uh, at first that, oh, sorry. You might notice that if I take out the double here, um, it works. But when you're working with doubles or floats or any sort of decimal value, you usually want to explicitly declare it um, if you intend to use a double. That way, um, Swift doesn't accidentally count it as a float um, because they are. Uh, different, and you might uh, run into issues if you try and mix floats and doubles. And then I'm going to finally create a string with the text the year is and call it that. Uh, you'll see all our values are created here. Used a string literal, so I didn't need to explicitly declare it. Declare it. And then what, all we're going to do is we're going to create a final variable called final string. And what we're going to want it to do is we're going to want to say the year is 2014.0. And that's uh, actually easier than you think. Um, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to create a final string and we're going to use this as a string literal. So for instance, we're going to start with a pair of double quotes. And if you want to use, or actually, you know, we're not going to start with double quotes. We're going to start with test string, and we're going to concatenate the following. What we're going to do is we're going to open up with with a double quotation mark. We're going to use a slash, which is the escape character in Swift, and then we can pass in a value here. For instance, we will pass in test int, uh, which is our year. So that will input test int into the string that we're creating. And then we can wrote and 
we can put in, using the escape character, our double. And then we'll put in months. I know this doesn't really uh, make sense, you know, the actual sentence, but as you can see, it creates a new string integrating everything. Um, so it's a pretty easy way to create strings. You don't have to mess around with the actual conversion of doubles to string values of the double. Um, you can simply have Swift input the values for you into the string, which saves a lot of time. Um, to compare strings, um, in you know it's it's pretty it's pretty easy in Swift. Um, you may remember in Java, there's when you're comparing strings. Uh, you need to use the dot equals method of the string class. And the reason for that is there's a difference, you know, you know, is that strings are a value type. Um, and you need to use dot equals because when you use in Java the double equal sign, you're comparing memory locations. Um, and obviously if you have two different strings, although the value of the strings might be the same, the memory locations are different. In Swift, however, Swift completely goes around that, um, and you can just use the equal to operator um, to check strings, and it doesn't look at memory location, it only looks at value. For instance, I can create two strings. And I can simply compare them with a simple if statement. Sorry. So, as you can see, we created two strings, and although they are individual strings with different memory locations, uh, using the equals to operator in Swift, their values are compared, not their locations. So, as you can see, they match. If I were to change one string, as you can see, the else runs that they don't match. Um, and that's how it works. And it's pretty easy um, to get a hang of. Um, so that's the end of this first Swift string tutorial. Um, thanks for watching, and let us know if you have any questions.